Hi everybody, Bill LaBerge here. Uh, it's a blizzard outside, so I thought this would be a good time to talk to you about uh, backup power. Uh, we've got a Sonnen Eco 10 installed in our shop. It's 10 kilowatt hours of storage for when the power goes out. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens. Don't go anywhere. So what I did was I'm simulating a power outage, okay? I just uh, threw the breaker for the main breaker. What happens is it's usually about a 10 second or 15 second delay and the power is going to come back on and we've set it up so that our essential loads are going to be run by this backup power. Um, well, we, we size the system, here we go, we size the system according to what your needs are. We have a refrigerator and a freezer out here, so um, you want heat, you want water, you want your refrigerator. That's how we determine the size of the system that you're going to need. Um, so that's when it operates as backup mode, and that's what it's doing right now. The really cool feature about this is that we can also put it into what's called self-consumption mode. Okay, so during the summer, um, I can tell this system that I want to prioritize the power that I generate. Um, so during the day, the solar power is going to be powering my building. At night, I can say I want to draw power from the battery. Okay, the next day the sun comes out, the sun is going to power my building. It's also going to power my battery. It's going to recharge my battery. So now we're starting to look at, you know, when we talk about energy independence, this is what we mean. We're generating our own power, we're using it, we're still, we're still attached to the grid, but now we're maximizing our own production of power. So maybe we don't need the utility? I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I thought I'd share that with you. Enjoy the blizzard.